Hello and welcome to a new video about pneumatics. Still talking about valves? Last time we talked about wave valves. This time we are going to talk about, well, other valves. Huh? Talking about different kind of valves. One of those different kinds are the so-called stop valves or check valves. Huh? Stop valve. Well, st valve. Stop valves are there to stop flow in a certain, in a certain way. Yeah? Not just block it in either direction, but in a defined manner, yeah? in a defined, with a defined logic. One example of stop valves is the valve which is simply called check valve yeah? or non-return valve. Non-return valve. The symbol would look like this. Huh? One symbol without spring, and there are also spring loaded versions where we add a, where we add a spring. What does it mean? Well, you can think about this circle here as a bowl and this as a, a seat. Yeah? If pressure comes from here and here is no pressure, then this bowl will be pressed against the seat and will seal here. So there is no air coming from here to here. If pressure is here higher than here, then this ball will be lifted off the seat and air can stream by. So air from here to here is no problem, from here to here it's blocked. Non-return valve. Without spring, with spring. If pressure is on both sides equal, the spring-loaded one has a defined position and is also working regardless of gravity. This one has, is sensitive to gravity and has an undefined position if both pressures are equal. So this is the difference. However, this will open at low pressure differences. This needs a little bit higher pressure differences because we also have to push the, 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 the spring. Non-return valve, one possible stop valve. And then there are shuttle valves. Shuttle valve symbol looks like this. Basically, it's like two non-return valves. Yeah? So here is the here is the working the pressure line. Yeah? or the, the, the line outside, and here are the in, incoming lines, uh, these two. And if the pressure is coming from here, it will move this ball to the left-hand side and can pass. If the pressure is coming from here, it will move the ball to the right-hand side and it can pass. If a both sides are pressure, is pressure, then, well, the ball is somewhere. However, one of those two pressures can pass, the higher one. If they are equal, one of those two will pass. So this shuttle valve, if either here or here is pressure, here will also be pressure. So this mainly is an OR, logically OR, combination of two pressure lines. Okay, shuttle valve. And then there are two pressure valves. This looks like this. It has also three connectors. One here, one here, one here. Yeah. However, the symbol looks a little bit different. Looks like this. There's an H for Heinz. <laughs> no, it's not an H. It should be a piston, yeah, or two pistons connected with a, with a rod. Yeah. And if the pressure is now coming from here, yeah, the pressure will shift this piston to the right hand side and it will seal here. So if pressure is coming from here, here will not be a pressure. If pressure is coming from here, it will do the same way, but on the other side it will shift the pressure on this, at this position, it will seal here, also no pressure. 
But if pressure is coming on both sides, so here's pressure and here's pressure, well, the first one or the stronger one wins, but the other one is connected because it is shifted to this, let's say, this has already shifted, this is sealed here, and here is also pressure, so the pressure can go through and will appear here. So here, on the output of the valve, there will only be appearing pressure if here and here is pressurized. So this is a logical and combination of two pressure lines. Okay. Then there is some special form of the shutter valve. Look, at least the symbol looks a little bit different. It's a quick exhaust valve. Symbol looks like this. I say, oh, this is really the same. However, here, this is basically an exhaust opening. Yeah? And here we have a connection which will help. Yeah? So, once the pressure is here higher, yeah, it will move back this ball to the left hand side yeah, because it's here is a control line and the pressure can quickly escape here. Yeah. You know, if you're thinking about you have a cylinder yeah, which has to travel inwards and you really want to get rid of the air, you don't have to you don't want to push the air all the way back to the way valve. Yeah? You maybe want to connect this very close to the cylinder and then if the cylinder if here's the cylinder already, if the cylinder wants to get rid of air, it will simply direct at the same cylinder cylinder be relieved. Yeah? This helps the cylinder traveling faster. Quick exhaust valve. Exhaust air will be quickly removed simply. Yeah? Stop valve. Then there are flow valves. Okay. Flow valves. One flow valve would be just something with a tiny hole. Okay. Look like this. There's the line, and then the line is narrowing down. That's the symbol. Yeah, it's a throttle valve. It is simply throttling down the stream. This is speeding it up, this is throttling it down. Okay, throttle valve. And there is this, pos there's this possibility, and then there is this possibility. Suck. Now it's adjustable. It's a fixed, throttling fixed, and this is adjustable due some screws usually. Yeah? Flow valves. And then there are so-called pressure valves. We talked about one sort of pressure valve as well. Yeah? We talked about a valve with a certain symbol. And the symbol looked like this. One, two. You remember? Pressure control valve. Or pressure regulating valve. The pressure on the side 2 can be determined with the spring, with the load of the spring. And the counterpart we said is the pressure on line number 2. Yeah. However, we had a slightly different symbol. Our symbol looked like this. Was going in both directions. 1, 2, and then we also had here 3. So this is also pressure control or pressure regulating valve, but this here is with relief opening. 
with relief opening. This means this one can get rid of exhaust of excessive pressure on line number two. This here not. Yeah? This is why this, this line is going in both directions, yeah? because air may flow in this direction or in this direction to three, and here it's only in one direction. However, controlled is number two. Okay? Pressure control valve, pressure regulating valve without relief opening, with relief opening. You can see it in the symbol. Yeah? Then, there might be things drawn like this. One, two, adjustable. Uh, looking pretty, pretty uh, the same. Yeah? However, now we are measuring from the one line. And if the one line has enough pressure, it will open. Okay? This is a pressure limiting valve. So this valve will limit the pressure on the one line. If the one line is has too much pressure or enough pressure to open, yeah, this will simply exhaust here. Okay? There are also there are also versions where we have here one, two, exactly the same. It's looking here exactly the same actually. However, there's an additional, additional 1-2 connector where the pressure needs to be high. So this is, this is a, a pressure limiting valve or a pressure switching valve. With external connection to the measurement pressure. Huh? To the measure to pressure. To the pressure to measure <laughs> to the pressure to measure yeah pressure valves huh? different types and then there are of course clever combinations huh? so for instance there is a non-return valve and a throttle valve huh? throttling check valve this is called throttling check valve looking for instance like this huh? so I will write combinations Non-return valve, pipe bus with a throttle valve, and this is grouped together. In this direction, it will simply bypass the throttle valve and can go very fast. In this direction, it will seal the non-return valve and has to pass over the throttling valve, so in this direction it will be rather slow. Huh? So this is a, a throttling check valve. Okay, One possible combination. And then there is also a combination, for instance, looking like this, adjustable, Oh, this is wrong here, looking like this. So here we have one, two, and here we have spring-loaded. This combination let's see if we can figure out what it means. Yeah. Here is the one two. This is how this looks like. Yeah. So, the pressure 
This is the one connection, this is the two connection, this is the three connection, yeah, and this is the one two connection. The pressure is applied at the one connection as usual. Yeah? In this position now, this is not this is not working, yeah, because it's simply blocked here. However, here also, however, if at one two connection the pressure is big enough that this pressure switching valve will switch, then this 3-2 th way valve will be switched because it's pragmatically operated, will be switched and then 1 and 2 are connected. Yeah? So at a certain pressure at 1 and 2, at, at the line 1 2, 1 and 2 are connected. And how much pressure is needed at 1 and 2? We can simply use it here. We can simply adjust it here with the load of the spring. Okay. So this, this is also a pressure switching Valve combination. Actually, it's a pressure switching valve, but however, this pressure switching valve will only switch a bigger valve. Huh? Helps a little bit to, to, to keep the thing small huh? and easy to adjust. So, these are uh, stop valves, flow valves, pressure valves, and their combinations. They are also in use yeah, to build logics, yeah, to keep the things separated somehow with the non-return valves, to adjust speeds, yeah, and to limit to limit or control pressures. Next time we're going to talk about a different type of, of valve designs. Yeah. We call, we're talking about poppet valves and sliding valves. What the difference is, we're going, we are going to hear in the next video. For this time, thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.